Hello there! If you're watching this, there's probably a good chance that a spring flew off from behind your throttle plate on your TW200, and it's not very obvious how it was on there. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to put it back together. Before we get started, I just gotta say it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses when working on your bike. After removing the 13mm nut and throttle pulley, there should be a spring and a small plastic bushing. It falls off pretty easy, so you may have to look around for it. I'll go ahead and stuff the throttle pulley over onto the engine just to get it out of the way for now. I'll slide the spring on like this so the straight end goes on the inside pointing down and the hook is on the outer side and aim to the left like this. Here's a close up of what it should look like. The straight part should be resting up against the carburetor. For reference, the hook part will end up resting on this tab at the bottom of the inner part of the throttle pulley. Next, place the plastic bushing on the spring so the beveled end is facing inwards like this. It probably doesn't really matter, but the flat part of the bushing should line up with the hook. Next, press the bushing in as far as it'll go. While holding it in, I'll grab a small right angle pick to grab the hook and wind the spring clockwise until I reach that little screw. While holding it in place, I'll rotate the throttle shaft all the way counterclockwise until it stops. You can use your fingers for this, and I'm just using pliers so you can see what's going on. Next, insert the throttle pulley and carefully remove the pick so the hook rests on that tab that I showed earlier. It's pretty hard to see when it's installed, and it may take a few tries to get it right. If the throttle pulley is slid on all the way and the hook is still resting on the tab, I'll go ahead and apply some blue Loctite to the threads, because it would suck for this to fall off on the trail. Next, I'll thread the nut on and snug it up. I couldn't find a torque spec, but you just want it to be nice and snug like this. It would be easy to strip it out since there are only half of the threads on there. Next, check to make sure the throttle operates correctly and snaps back like it's supposed to. Oh, and in case you were wondering why there are two cables, it's so you can pull the throttle in either direction. In case something were to get stuck, you can force it closed. And that's it, we're all done. <sighs> well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, someone was asking me how to do this the other day and it made me remember back when I took that off for the first time and it took me forever to figure it out so I thought this would just be a useful video to make but anyways there has been a lot going on my most recent riding adventure I lost my phone along with a lot of great footage unfortunately but I'm also in the middle of editing a separate adventure video and it's taking a bit longer than expected, but I think it's gonna turn out really well. And also welding my frame back together, that turned out good and I still gotta edit the video for that. And also I have been working on a fun skill over the past few months that I think is gonna blend really well with the type of videos I make. I still have a long ways to go on it, but I will show you guys what I'm talking about at the end of this video. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Peace.